Hello everybody, Ray Pedrasha of the McAllen Cable Network here with some members of our Traffic Safety Commission from the City of McAllen here talking about car safety seats. Joining me right now is Patricia Longoria and also Eduardo De La Rosa. You guys are talking about car safety seats. We've, we've had some tragic accidents right here in McAllen involving uh, car safety seats or, or maybe the lack of car safety seats, right? Yes. That's correct. Uh, re just recently, um, we had a meeting at the Traffic Commission and, and, and the two incidents uh, were, were mentioned where two child, well, two, two kids were actually uh, killed as a result of improper uh, installation of, of, their, of the car seat. So as a community service for the citizens of McAllen, uh, we're trying to reach out to the community, see if they can, they're willing to come and help us uh, pass out the message on what it is uh, that's required to have a, a proper uh, seat installed in a vehicle. What particular are you guys doing to, to increase more awareness in the community about this? Well, we're hoping that these workshops will assist the, the community in installing their seats properly. We will have um, volunteers from the, from the McAllen Fire Department helping us um, install their technicians, their, their trained technicians to install the seats properly, as well as the municipal court is going to help us to purchase um, car seats so that we can give them to low-income families and the citizens of McAllen. Okay, and it's always uh, important to remind people about, uh, you know, the right size of car seat. You know, if the kids are, are, are a certain height or a certain weight, right, they require a different type of seat. Right, it, it, it gets complicated, the issue of the Texas law and, and regarding restraints. Uh, uh, so these clinics are, are, are really uh, a session so that we can, uh, if you bring your children over to us and we'll, we'll give you what the specifics are uh, regarding the law. So, and then besides that, find out if you're using the actual proper seat because you can go from a regular car seat and, and as the child uh, increases in weight and or in age and or in height, that's gonna vary as far as what equipment you're gonna be uh, utilizing in the vehicle. Yeah, it's so sad to see, uh, sometimes you're driving along the street and you see uh, kids standing up on the front seat or the back seat of the car and that's just, just an accident waiting to happen, right? So you guys are, are, are planning uh, a future clinic, and, and I guess you're asking for the help of the public to, to, to assist with car seats, or what, what exactly are you guys doing? Okay, what uh, we don't have a definite date set right now, but what uh, we're wanting to do is we're wanting to join a partnership with, with any nonprofit organization, organizations that uh, maybe have some funds uh, you know, put away for, for an event uh, dealing with uh, community service. If they can contact the City of McAllen Traffic Department and, and get with uh, Patricia and maybe donate some of those funds so that we can buy additional car seats uh, and uh, we can make this a bigger or a larger type of, of event that'll be very, very warming and comforting for the families that unfortunately are, one, have the wrong car seat and they need to upgrade and because of cost they can't afford it, we'll be able to uh, help them out at, at the clinic. Okay, and Patricia, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, via phone or email? They can call us at our office. It's 956-681-2700 uh, or they can email our general traffic um, at mcallen.net, traffic at mcallen.net and that, that um, email is disseminated to the directors. Okay, very good. And what kind of timeline are you looking at? Uh, I know you said you don't have a definite date, but are you looking over the, the next month or the next several weeks? Uh, what are you looking at? I would like, I would like to have it um, set sometime in March, or hopefully mid to late March. Okay, very good. Anything else we should mention about uh, what you guys are doing? Who, who is the, the, the City of McAllen Traffic Commission? It's made up of citizens? Right. Uh, each uh, city commissioner has, uh, has an appointee that uh, they select from, from, their, from their districts. And uh, each appointee uh, convenes at meetings that comprise of the traffic commission. We're all volunteers, and and uh, as volunteers, we have the uh, the uh, I guess the duty to make recommendations and uh, regarding speed bumps, uh, speed limit signs, stop signs, anything that dealing with traffic control devices. Uh, it's brought to our attention by the staff, the city staff at the traffic department, but. Even just sitting at, at the meeting, it's also, uh, I, I was just nominated and, and appointed as a, as a co-chair for the, for the committee. 
and uh, I wanted to see uh, the committee to get getting more involved with the with the actual community and this is one way that we're going to be reaching out to the citizens and and helping out and obviously it's community service is what what it's all about all right very good and once again if somebody out there is watching and and they'd like to help you guys out uh, what number and what email again it's 956-681-2700 and it would be traffic at mcallen.net. Very easy to remember. Anything else? Do we cover it all? Yes, that would be all. That's it. Just uh, hopefully any nonprofits out there uh, that are willing to join on this uh, venture, it's, it's for the kids uh, of City of McAllen. Uh, come join us and, and uh, let's partner up and let's make this uh, a successful event. All right. Eduardo de la Rosa, Patricia Longoria, thank you so much. Okay. And of course, as always, we thank you for watching. I'm Ray Pedras, and this is the McAllen Cable Network.